Hey guys, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It. And if you watched my video on indirect blending, the little tutorial I did, you saw me actually writing out the words indirect blending in a really fast sped up clip with a little clip at the beginning and a little clip at the end of the video. So many of you reached out and you actually wanted to see the slowed down real speed version of me writing indirect blending and using the indirect blending technique to fill in the letters. So I just wanted to go ahead and play it for you right here in normal speed. So as you can see right here, I am using my light gray marker to go ahead and write the words. This is kind of how I do my rough draft. So if you've seen my last several videos, I do the same technique where I do a rough draft with a light gray marker. And that way I, I know where I'm going over it with the other colors when I'm doing the blending. So this light gray marker comes in a pack, the gray scale pack of the Tombow dual brush pins. And I will link all the supplies I used in the description below this video. So go ahead, if you want the supplies, go ahead and click down there and look at the description to find them. In just a minute, I'm going to be using that blending palette that you see to the left of my paper. That blending palette came in one of my sets of the Tombow Dual Brush Pins. A lot of different sets come with the colorless blender pin, which is the pin above my paper with the clear lid, but not all of the sets that come with that colorless blender pin actually have the blending palette in it. So if you happen to buy a set that does not have the blending palette, it's okay. You can use a Ziploc bag or any kind of paper that's been laminated. You could even laminate your own paper, um, but just something that's laminated that you can scribble on like that that will allow you to pick up the colors with the colorless blender pin. So right now you're seeing me scribble on it. Uh, with markers and getting color on there and I'm going to pick up the colors with the colorless blender pen. So the rest of the video is really just going to be me going through and picking up color with the colorless blender pen and going through the process of indirect blending. So if you already watched the last video, you know exactly what I'm doing, but I just picked up a little bit of green with the colorless blender pen and then next I'm going to pick up a little bit of green and add a touch of blue to it. And I'm going to increase how much blue I add to it until I just do blue by itself. And then you go through and you do blue and then you start adding a little bit of purple. So you just go through and it kind of makes a rainbow effect. So my hope of showing you this whole video in real speed is to give you an idea of how long it takes. Um, I know that I did a lot of shorter phrases in the actual indirect blending tutorial. And a lot of times if you're finding... Uh, beautiful hand lettering or calligraphy on Instagram or Facebook you're seeing sped up videos that makes it look like they're doing it really fast and so I just want you to be able to see how long it takes me to do an actual bigger phrase on a big piece of paper large lettering so that way you know that if it's taking you you know 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes however long it's okay you don't have to do it in two minutes for it to be done right. I also wanted you to really get the the idea of how using the gray marker for the rough draft makes it so much easier. So you can see here I did the gray marker and then I'm going back and basically coloring it in the same way that you would color in a coloring book, which in my personal opinion is so much easier than having to go to the blending palette, pick up color, even blend colors together, and then go back and instead of filling in letters that you've already written in gray, you'd have to go and try to do letter by letter, write your perfect calligraphy font while you're filling it in with the color, which to me is just a lot harder. It's a lot easier to go back over the gray, color in little by little, and you can tell exactly where you're going. So it makes the coloring process, the blending process, really fun to me. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and that it really inspires you to try indirect blending on your own. And don't forget, if you want any of the supplies that I'm using in this video, just look in the description below this video and I have all the supplies linked there.
Okay guys, so I am finishing up the lettering. I'm just going to go back and fill in some spots that are a little bit lighter than I wanted them to be. Make sure they're as vibrant and dark as I wanted. Um, and that's really it. So if there's any spots you need to touch up, you can go back, blend the colors again, touch up the spots that are too light. If you went outside the gray marker and you feel like the lettering is not quite good enough, you can go back and touch that up as well. But that's really it. So if you're really new to hand lettering and calligraphy, I actually have videos, if you haven't seen them, I have a basic intro to calligraphy tutorial on how to do the basic techniques of writing the calligraphy strokes. And that will really help you out. And then I also just have a basic video on lettering with your Tombow dual brush pen to kind of get acquainted with how to use the dual brush pens. It takes a little bit of time to get used to them. And then I also have a video on how to do direct blending, which is actually different than this indirect blending. So if you like this video, I would really appreciate you giving it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new videos. I'll be posting a new video on another type of blending later this week and you will not want to miss it, I promise. See you soon, bye guys.